Salem also has a win at Iowa on his ARCA resume. We can see that that inside line has gained about a car. Oh, trouble, trouble already. Through the tri-oval. 78 goes around. The 98, they're teammates. It's a big one at Daytona. It all started when the 78 of Cole Powell got turned sideways. Gus Dean had nowhere to go and under caution early here at the World Center of Racing. This is exactly what these guys didn't want to do. They wanted to get some laps under their belt. Just feel these things out here. A lot of damage to a lot of vehicles. Uh, How about Bobby, Bobby Gerhardt? Gerhard? Eight wins here at Daytona. On, three, on two different occasions, he's won three in a row. See Terry Jones from Canada in the 30. Got a little bit of damage. Oh, Austin, Austin Wayne, Wayne Self, Self in the 33. Watch about three or four lines back. And did the 78 definitely moved to the inside. Don't know if he had any help. Maybe it turned him sideways right into his teammate. The 98 of Gus Dean that pushed him back up the racetrack right in front of the pack. Look, look at Kevin Thomas Jr. in that 22 gets minimal damage middle of your screen. This is a kid that had never raced on a facility bigger than a half mile prior to today. And that was a pretty nice save by him. You can't tell from that angle whether the 78 got a little bit of contact that turned him around down into the inside line where he collected his teammate Gus Dean. See all these drivers that you see all that smoke. It's way worse from racetrack level. I think about Greg Alding, Frank Kimmel, some of those drivers, Brett Hudson, would have started right in the middle of the pack, probably been collected, dropped to the rear, and I don't think any of them got any damage. Boy, it almost looked like there might have been a little bit of contact right there to turn that 78 sideways. If there would have been an opening down to the inside, he probably would have got away with it, but uh, not this early in the race. On board no, no openings. Gustine. That's Cole Powell on the outside. Look, look, at, look at the rear of that car. Look how close the 83 is Derek Lancaster. Definitely contact from behind that sent him down across the racetrack. Yeah, that's unfortunate because those cars have been fast, not only this weekend, but were really good when we tested here in January. See what it looked like from the view of Sarah Cornette Ching on board here. Dylan looked on the 82 to her inside. She just blipped the throttle for just a second, and that quickly she was by the incident. See her waving out the window to the cars behind her. Sean Core, one of those that just missed getting involved. Dylan Lupton as well on the two car. And, and look at look at all the cars way back behind him that were able to avoid the accident.